CataractCoach.com, a beautiful horizontal chop case. This young surgeon does a great job of learning FACO chop. You know, it's always a pleasure to see a young surgeon do a beautiful procedure. So let's go inside here. We've got a FACO probe in the right hand, chopper on the left, looks like a ball tip chopper, cleaning up some of the anterior cortical material. That's all reasonable. And now let's see the technique here. So horizontal chop, you've got to get the chopper around the lens equator. So pre-placing it, maybe, let's see. Yeah, that's a smart move too. This is, why, this is where you have a narrow window, right, to do the chop. So here the chopper's already placed. So buzz on the finger probe, you hear the high vacuum, just chop it. And look at that, beautifully done. You separate the pieces out, make sure you propagate that chop all the way through. Gotta separate them out. And once you do that, chopper pre-placed again. So by pre-placing the chopper, you're making life a little easier for you because when you hit that high window of vacuum, ee, chop right there. See, there you go, almost. There you go. So remember, with FACO chop, you do have a finite window of time to get the chop done. So you need to be able to get that chopper in good position and do the chop action before you lose vacuum suction holding power of the nuclear piece. So here you go, a lot of few chops have been done, but the catch is, look back there, I don't know if they're all fully separated just yet. So you wanna separate the pieces out a little bit more. See, they're still kind of fibrous and still attached, so you won't be able to bring them up. See that's attachment point there? Exactly, you wanna separate that. So it's buzzing again with the Fraco probe, let's go to the chop around again, pre-place another chopper around the lens equator, and then buzz into the Fraco probe, and you have that high vacuum, chop right there, look at that. I like, see that separation that you did there at the end, pulling the piece apart, I like that maneuver, that's helpful. That really helps to separate the pieces. So let's try again, let's see if you can get one quadrant out. Now, remember, if you're a resident who's learning so much great material on the cataractcoach.com website, we got full on curriculum lessons for free to teach you how to do FACO chop. What about parameters? Saying, well, what's the FACO power you utility? What's the vacuum? On cataractcoach.com, I got a whole series of FACO fundamentals. You can learn how to choose your own settings. You can stop copying other people. You can actually just do what makes sense for you and your technique in your hands. Check it out. Now, back to this case here. So again, it's all kind of attached at the bottom here, which is okay. You're going to get these pieces up. You just need to get one of them up out of the bag like this. Get that chop going, and as soon as you bring one out, you'll have a lot more room. There we go. See, now with the one piece out, there's a lot more room to maneuver. Now you can get the pieces split apart. See this? That makes it a lot easier. And then you can split the pieces, propagate that chop that you did initially fully through the nucleus so it's fully separated. Remember, if there's even a little attachment point for one of these nuclear quadrants, it's not going to come up. If it's still attached, it won't come up. So you need to fully free it. And then now, look, these come out easy, easy, very nicely done. Getting these pieces out, fantastic. Here's another one. And now look in the bag. All you have left is a hemi-nucleus. And so now, not a lot of cortex in this case, by the way. So pretty dense cataract. Good density here. Now, depending on where you are in the world and what your training program is, you may see a lot denser cataracts, but that's just okay too. But this is a nice density for learning chop because you'll get a nice propagation of the chop and you'll be able to have good holding power with the FACO probe. If the nucleus is too soft, you buzz with the FACO probe, you have only a fraction of a second of holding power before the nucleus crumbles. But in a case with more density like this, it's a lot easier to keep maintain that vacuum holding power. But the catch is now, at, this, at the end, you see all these quadrants are kind of attached at the bottom. So there's some fibrous nature to that posterior plate. And here's that quadrant piece coming out. And now in the bag is one quadrant remaining. Very nicely done. Try to put the right hand down a little bit towards the floor of the room. So the eyes sit a little bit more in primary. There you go. Or center up the scope a little bit. Very nicely done. And then let's take out the last piece. Now remember, as the last few pieces of lens material come up, ooh, another little chop, very nice. As the last few pieces of lens material come into your probe, if there's nothing weighing down the capsule bag, well, put the soft backside of the chopper towards the posterior capsule. She has to protect it. So taking out these pieces, here we go. Nicely done, nicely done. Take this one out too. And we're going to remove it here nice and easy. Beautifully done. And I like the idea of buzzing in just a little bit to hold the nucleus and then bring it up away from the bag. And again, watch the posterior capsule. Now, in this case, there was good anterior chamber stability, so not too much chamber bounds. Notice there's a little iris prolapse. Look at the iris pro prolapsing towards the paracentesis. So we could keep an eye on that, see what that's going to be about. Here's that last piece on position one right now. Now, with the piece in front of you, you go to position two and then barely 
tapping into a little burst of position three. Burst, 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 burst. And then there we go. Out you go. And we'll finish up the case here and call this done. Beautifully done case. I want to commend you for doing a fantastic job. Keep up the good work. And please send us more videos in the future. And remember, if you're a young doctor, cataractcoach.com has so much great material. Free PDF book to learn surgery. Free curriculum series. Free everything. Just go check it out.